Hi, I'm Dr. Rajan Sagar from the University of California, Los Angeles. And the interesting question in front of us today is can monotherapy be effective in connective tissue disease related pulmonary artery hypertension? And the answer, the short answer is absolutely. Uh, one has to remember that all of the available pulmonary hypertension specific therapies that we have today that are FDA approved in general were studied at some point as monotherapy versus placebo in the available clinical trials and were analyzed as subgroups specifically for the C connective tissue disease population and these publications are available and we'll go through some of them. But up front, um, I would be remiss if I didn't state that over time it's become apparent that while monotherapy itself is effective and proven to be effective and often led to the FDA approval of many of these medications. As we sit here today in 2018, combination therapy up front is currently the standard of care, particularly in patients with connective tissue disease related PAH, as this is often a less responsive group of patients to standard pulmonary arterial hypertension therapies. With that in mind, let's review some of the data that surrounds monotherapy at, in patients who have connective tissue disease related PAH. Before we get into that, we have to point out that a lot of these studies, or the majority of these studies, uh, which include group one PAH, the connective tissue disease subgroup in the PAH studies often represents somewhere between 20% and one third of the total cohort. So they tend to be underrepresented, relatively speaking. However, having said that, the connective tissue disease as an associated condition is the largest represented associated condition of pulmonary arterial hypertension in these studies. And you can see on the x-axis here several of these in terms of the studies that have looked at this and we'll kind of cover a couple of these. So the first is the, the use of sildenafil in systemic sclerosis related PAH on six minute walk. This comes from the SUPER1 study. This is again a subgroup analysis supporting the concept of the use of sildenafil at 20 milligrams TID, which was eventually the approved dose in this population in systemic sclerosis related PAH, again as monotherapy with six minute walk improvements that are clinically relevant. In addition to that, there's functional class improvements which are associated with the six minute walk improvement as expected, again supporting the use of monotherapy with sildenafil in the connective tissue disease related PAH population. Moving on, the first study looked at tadalafil and similarly shows improvements in functional capacity uh, using tadalafil at 40 milligrams uh, once a day, which was eventually the approved dose by the FDA. Time to clinical worsening and survival estimates with Bosentin treatment is also uh, significant and superior to placebo. Uh, again, in the subgroup of patients with connective tissue disease related PAH, and you can see time to clinical worsening here was uh, clearly uh, improved in patients with ex very acceptable survival in all cohorts of connective tissue disease, uh, including systemic sclerosis, mixed connective tissue disease, and lupus. In the Serafin study, which was looking at the use of masotentin versus placebo, when we look at the subgroup of patients with connective tissue disease, looking at the combined morbidity and mortality endpoint, there is also clear advantage uh, for using masotentin versus placebo, keeping in mind that a good number of the subgroup was on background therapy in this study. So with that in mind, I think the main message today is while monotherapy may be effective and has been effective uh, in patients with, who have connective tissue disease related PAH, as we stand here in 2018, combination therapy is currently the standard of care, usually in an upfront fashion. However, if you choose to introduce monotherapy initially, you should be very cognizant of trying to introduce additional therapy sooner than later, particularly if the goals of attaining normal functional class are not obtained uh, in a uh, timely fashion. Thank you. Thank you.